What's up guys? Um, today we are going to be talking about John Meadows. He has uh, unfortunately um, passed away. That is what I have received a few text messages about this morning and it's a pretty shitty thing to wake up to. And um, you know, I think it goes without saying that John is one of the most you know, he's the nice guy of the industry in that uh, meme on the More Plates More Days subreddit. I thought it was pretty fucking accurate when it said he was like the, uh, there was like a tier system of like good, neutral, and like evil or something. On the top right, it was like, me is chaotic good, uh, Vitruvian physique in the middle, middle neutral good. On the top left, like who would be a better fitting individual for this spot? Lawful good, John Meadows. So, you know, the... Uh, one of the most caring individuals, one of the most, you know, well-respected and liked simultaneously. And, um, you know, when I was starting to grow a bit on YouTube and, you know, starting to get my information out there a bit more, um, it was very cool to see him commenting on my stuff. Like, for example, I did a, a video February of last year um, where I was talking about Santi Aragon's uh, contest prep and kind of my analysis on you know the protocol design and whatnot. And the top comment was Greg Doucette, my doctor, more plates, more dates, my endocrinologist, John Meadows, my nutritionist slash trainer, I'm all set. And in the comments section, John said, yes, sir, more plates, more dates, great analysis. And that was like very fucking cool to see, you know? Like that was uh, the first time they get, when, I, one of the, like the most notable names in the industry, one of the most uh, you know well-respected individuals, comes and drops a comment like that on your video. Extremely, you know, makes you feel like you're doing something good, and he's actually, you know, resonating with what you're talking about, and you know, really gave me a good boost at the time, and is uh, was very, very much appreciated, and uh, it was cool to see John uh, consuming my content at all because he's an individual who I've followed for years and learned a lot from him. And um, truly believe he's one of like the highest um, tier educators and one of the most uh, well liked individuals too. Who everyone everyone wanted to see John succeed, and um, um, it was amazing to see you know everything he had done with his businesses. With uh, like he was just a great role model overall with his family, all that kind of stuff, as well as you know being a great you know bodybuilder above and beyond that. But um, you know, a huge fucking loss in the community. I know everyone, you know, one of the first things, a bunch of people in the comment section, they want to know what happened. You know, I, I've been inundated with comments. Like, are you going to talk about it? Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that? Like, you know, when it comes to this kind of stuff, it's fucking shitty because sometimes genetics will just, you can only do so much, unfortunately. And that's not to say you shouldn't do anything. John was meticulous about his health. Um, and I know there are individuals that might say, oh, he should have, you know, not bodybuild it at all, or, you know, he should have not been so big or whatever, but it's like everyone has their passion and they're going to do what they love. And some of it, you know, may not be the healthiest thing overall, but people are going to do what they're going to fucking do. And he was doing everything the right way. And he was one of the highest quality educators for doing this shit in the right way and taking the maximum amount of precautions that he could and he was a great example of you know what you know safer practices really are in this industry so um it's really unfortunate that he had such genetic propensity to so many um problematic things if you guys don't know historically he had the uh the issue with his uh, i believe it was his colon um correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that issue years ago was stemming from his uh, clotting disorder as well. And then more recently, he had a heart attack, which um, I believe was stemming from this clotting disorder as well. And then obviously just now, apparently was a pulmonary embolism in his sleep, which is fucking horrible. And that's actually how my best friend died when I was uh, only 21. He was 21. He had a clot grow in his calf to the size of a baseball and it broke off and killed him instantly really fucking shitty and it sucks because it's like you can only do so much with your genetics and it's just fucking horrible when you see individuals who are doing all the right things like john and then this kind of an outcome still happens so i don't know what the you know the takeaway 
just be fucking careful guys like honestly like this is obviously this is a fucking terrible situation and on the other side of the spectrum there are gonna be a lot of people wondering how does this relate to their bodybuilding stuff you know should you know they still bodybuild or do this or do that all you can do is do high quality diagnostics and check your shit out thoroughly before you get into this lifestyle at all and this is why i push so hard for high quality organ imaging, why I pushed for blood work. And this is all stuff that John talked about in his content and became more prevalent in the recent years as he became more you know, educated and well, uh, well-versed in the topics and you know, had subjected himself to a lot of this kind of more elaborate diagnostic testing and whatnot. And you know, he was one of the biggest proponents of you know, make sure you get you know, echocardiography, make sure you check your blood work. And he, he'd been talking about blood work like forever, but more recently there's been this push for actual checking everything as thoroughly as you can before you get into this stuff and especially when you're in this stuff monitoring it with longitudinal data so some individuals genetically though you know might bodybuilding might not be the safest thing for you like in general bodybuilding is not a healthy sport unfortunately but you do everything you fucking can to mitigate the risk and john was one of the highest quality sources of information in that regard and was a you know great example of what to do you know as many people are going to say stupid shit about how you know maybe that that is contradictory and that's just dumb you know his parents if i recall correctly both um passed away very early as well in their 40s or or 50s i may be wrong on that and i believe it was for um similar reasons stemming from uh clotting disorder um, or at least one of them might have been, but I'm pretty sure they both passed away very young. And he's always been mindful of health given his, you know, genetic propensities and whatnot. And all we can do is take the messages he's put out in his content and try to apply it to our, to our own lives and be as health conscious as we can possibly fucking be. And this is a huge loss to the community. And it's very, um, I'm not as close to John as, you know, a lot of the other like real bodybuilders in this industry or anything like that. I've had very limited interactions with them, but the times, you know, that he did comment on my stuff or there'd been, you know, um, interactions between the two of us, you know, it was extremely positive and I was a huge fan of him and he will be missed. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.